Welcome to Midspace. In this short video, you'll learn how to use our chat and access our social rooms. One of the first tasks you'll have as an attendee is to set up your attendee profile. Your profile can include photos, bio, badges, pronouns, affiliation, and more. All of this information is optional and is meant to help you connect with other attendees. Once your profile has been set up, you are free to explore the rest of Midspace. On the right hand side, you'll have your chat access. At the very top, you can see the chat here option. This leads you to our welcome lobby. In this chat, you'll be able to connect with any other attendee at the conference that is in the same space. You'll see a variety of options for the type of message to send, including poll and question. It is very easy to create a poll within our chat. A create poll options window will pop up and show you a variety of options for how to configure your poll, including allowing responses to be public or private. When using a question, the message will appear in a different color to help attendees be able to identify questions more easily. And you'll notice that you can also answer a question in chat. Next, we'll move on to my chats. Here you can see a variety of different types of chats. At the very top, we have announcements and tech support. Next up, we have direct messages and chats associated with social rooms. Let's jump into the social room chat. Here we have the newcomers lounge. This is here because I've previously accessed the newcomers lounge and decided to pin that chat. Midspace also has a search feature. You are able to look up a specific individual to start a direct chat. You'll notice that you can also start a video chat from this space. Now that we've covered chat, let's head over to the social rooms. In this space, you'll see all active social rooms, as well as a preview of who is in each room. Let's jump into the newcomers lounge. From this space, you can see a preview of the chat before entering the room, the option to configure your microphone and camera permissions, and finally, the option to join the room. Now we've joined the room. If there were other attendees in this room, they would show up in a grid layout. Social rooms enable you to share your screen. Once you've selected the screen you'd like to share, you are able to select a layout to optimize sharing your content. You can also record from social rooms and easily stop screen sharing. 
We hope you make the most of these features and enjoy your time at your conference. Thank you for watching.